So this is my 100th video. Thank you for being there for me from the beginning. Um, and it really does mean a lot to me that people care about my art and my self-expression on my face. So I thought I would do something fun for Halloween since tis the season. Um, I didn't have a costume for the first time in my life this year. So today I just went to Publix and I got this hat. Um, so I'm just dressed in all black and I decided to do a drag witch makeup tutorial. Um, so we are featuring lots of different colors, um, very contoured face, very contoured lips, um, fun color combinations in a very contoured structured way um, that are still soft and sexy and feminine. Um, if there ever was a time to put 30 pounds of makeup, it was now Halloween. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to uh, make this video because I missed you guys. Um, new piercing additions, <laughs> got my second conch, got my lip pierced, and I have my journal. So if you would like to learn how to get this look, please keep watching and I'll show you how. So with your finger, you are just going to take Makeup Forever Professionals uh, Flash Color, um, number 5, Rue de la Boetie. It's really red undertone purple. And you're just going to pop this on your entire eyelid and blend it outwards to your crease. So once you have your general outline, you are just going to take any uh, fluffy blending brush. I'm going to use my MAC 217. And I'm just going to take a really fuchsia magenta pink. This one is Makeup Forever Professional. It's this pink right here. And we are just going to apply this in our crease and above it. just to fade it out, I'm going to take the blush that I'm using as my mirror. It's from Lancome. It's called Shimmer Pink Pool. Super pretty. And I'm just going to place it along the edges and blend it up towards my brow. So you're blending it downwards, we're also putting it upwards. So it's just this nice gradient fade. Next I'm going to do my highlight, which is Benefit's Snow Bunny Luster Duster. Very shimmery, silvery white. Super, super sparkly. I'm just going to take this right along my brow. So I'm just going to put on the inner corner as well. I'm going for my first drag video, so seriously, the, the louder, the crazier you are, the better. And then afterwards, you are going to take the infamous and famous uh, Makeup Forever Professional eyeshadow number 92, that very well-known purple, which deserves to be known because it is uh, incredible. So we're just going to take this on the same brush and throw it right in our crease. So you want to get your shape. I'm going to do a very winged eye. Right where your lash line fans out, just by following it, I'm going to make an imaginary line. If you want to use tape or business card press, go ahead. I am drawing that line and then just connecting it with the arch, bringing it semi in on the 
lid. We really want to accentuate that cat eye. This is Sephora Flashy Liner in number 8, Flashy Blue. I've used this countless times in my video. I've had it this entire time. These pencils are great. I like them. Um, I'm just going to line your upper lash line. Next, I'm going to take a very prominent teal color. This is Mikabel Cosmetics, um, number 86, Shimmer Powder. Very pretty color. And just on a angled brush, I want you to take a bit of this shadow. It's awesome. And just pretty much apply it over the pencil. The face is done. Um, I did a very strong contour, as is evident. Um, just because it is dry makeup, it is Halloween, and it's me, Diane. Um, pretty much it was me because I'm normal pale. Um, I used a lot of neutral brown undertones. So uh, first I did my contour with Smashbox's Halo uh, Bronzer. Um, yes, it's cracked, but I still use it because it's wonderful. Um, so that gives a nice glow to the skin. It makes it look very healthy, very uh, flawless, very perfect, very... Fabulous. Um, and then to intensify that contour, there is Hula's bronzer from Benefit. And it's just a very nice matte bronzer, that's why I like it, to really sculpt the jawline, the cheekbones, uh, the temples, and whatnot. Um, for blush, because the eyes are going to be so much, um, they're going to be a little bit of fun with lipstick as well. Here is another situation. Um, I just did something very natural and warm. Shimmer Coral Sunset Blush. So this is Shimmer Pool, which we use on our eyes. This is what we use as our actual blush. Um, so that's the face. So next, um, I took a liquid liner, just to redefine my eyes. Um, this is going to help cover the band for the lashes. These are Quo Lashes 800. They are very full and voluminous and um, flirty. Um, so one of the last things um, after you do your eyelashes is your mascara um i'm going to do that in a bit because my glue is still drying kind of screwed up this eyelash um but this one's fine so we're just going to continue on with the lower lash line um Luz Wattay's eyeshadow pencil in violet sorry purple i've used this countless times it's really about getting the products that you are going to be able to invest in but then have for a very long time so just all along the lower lash line very shimmery and sparkly, very pretty. Um, and I really like using it. So on an angled brush again, you're just going to literally smudge it directly on top of the eyeliner. And this is going to help set it and make it last longer. Because you're using two tones, it just makes it look really interesting. So go ahead and do that. You know what, it's Halloween. I really just want to go go out crazy and have some fun. So I'm going to take some white glitter. This is Opal from Ms. Wattier. It's going to have a little bit of fun on this. We are going to accentuate the purple and the black by applying the white underneath. Kind of like a rocket theme. We are going to do some glitter underneath the eyebrow. Glitter on top of glitter. And then right here on the inner corner as well. Just 
just like so. If you want to take some amethyst, purple glitter. Put it on the eyeshadow eyeliner combo. We're just getting silly now. This is the vodka talking. So just to complete the look, um, we did pretty much lip liner using a black eyeliner pencil. And then for lipstick, I did Revlon 663 Va Va Violet. It's a very dark black purple. Um, I could do an intro lip. I don't want to. It's Halloween. If you can get away with putting 25 pounds of makeup, why not? Um, so this is the ridiculous $10 hat from Loblaws. Um, it does have a veil with spiders on it and whatnot. Um, I do want to show off the makeup though, so I'm just going to put the veil up. Um, but it's colorful, it's crazy, um, the rest of my outfit is black. Um, and I really just wanted to focus the, you know, emphasis on makeup. Um, but it's just wanting to show you that you can make a costume out of pretty much anything. Um, as long as you have a couple of props, you can really make it work in your favor. But I hope you had fun with this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Happy Halloween!